كان كان لقاؤنا مع معالي وزير خارجية الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية كان لقاء مثمرا وجيدا وبحثنا حول الكثير من الأمور سيما ما يحصل الآن في العراق وكذلك في المنطقة وبالذات حول موضوع هذه المنظمة الإرهابية التي اسمها داعش وكانت الآراء متفقة فيما بيننا وبالتأكيد نحن نؤكد على أن ما حصل في اجتماع مجلس الأمن الأخير هذا يثير الإعجاب وفي نفس الوقت يخلق الطمأنينة لدى الجميع بأن المجتمع الدولي ضد هذه التنظيمات الإرهابية Our, meet, our meeting with the U.S. Secretary of State uh, was very uh, positive and very pr uh, fruitful. We have discussed several issues, especially the situation in Iraq and the region. And, um, and also, we specifically focused on this terrorist organization known as the ISIL. Uh, we have common views uh, concerning these issues. And um, also, we believe that the latest session of the UN Security Council was remarkable. And it gives peace and security, uh, gives assurances to people in the region that this threat will be dealt with. <laughs> استجابت واتفقت فيما بينها لمناصرة شعب العراق ودعم في مواجهة الإرهاب الذي هو نمط جديد في هذا العصر. Uh, therefore, we would like to uh, thank the countries that have uh, come together in order to support Iraq and uh, to stand by Iraq and support it in its war against terrorism, uh, which is a new threat in this area. Uh, uh, delighted to be here with President Massoum and with Foreign Minister Joffrey, uh, who have already proven to be uh, important partners in this effort, and I appreciate the very constructive meeting that we've just had to talk about where we are. Before I get started, I want to just say a few words about our decision to conduct strikes against ISIL targets in Syria and also against seasoned al-Qaeda operatives in Syria who are known as the Khorasan Group. Uh, we have been very clear from the beginning. We will not allow geography or borders to prevent us from being able to take action against ISIL. And we will not allow them to have a safe haven where they think they can have sanctuary against accountability. We will hold them responsible for their grotesque atrocities. And we will not allow these terrorists to find a safe haven anywhere. That is President Obama's resolve. If left unchecked, ISIL is not only a threat to the stability of Iraq and to the region, but it is a threat to countries elsewhere, including here. From the beginning, President Obama has been very clear that this is not America's fight alone. ISIL poses a threat to not just Iraq and Syria, but to the region as a whole. Uh, and the region has to be a leader in this effort in order to fight back. I want to commend President Massoum and Prime Minister Abadi for the critically important steps that Iraq has taken to help form a government and it is obviously important that they continue to take those steps, and we talked about some of that today. They are committed to doing so. But they've also been, importantly, reaching out to their neighbors and helping to build this coalition. More than 50 countries have now agreed to join this effort to combat ISIL, including the Arab countries that joined us last night in taking military action in Syria. The overall effort is going to take time. Uh, there are challenges ahead, but we are going to do what is necessary to take the fight to ISIL, to begin to make it clear that terrorism, extremism, does not have a place in the building of civilized society. And we will work with our friends from Iraq in order to make certain that their choice to move forward in a democratic and viable way uh, will bear fruit.
and be supported by the international community. Thank you. No, we don't have time for questions.